Hey guys, the Gadget Man here, and today I'm going to be showing you these Best Garter Digital Night Vision Binoculars. So this item was gifted to me to do this unboxing and demonstration, and that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is break it out of the box and show you what it looks like. So let's do that. Obviously, you got your user manual there, and nice little case. That's all that comes in the box here. Let's move the box out of the way. There's a nice hard case here. Get the zippers here, dual zippers. Okay. All right, look at these. Okay, first impressions, very lightweight. Um, I've never actually used one of these things before, so I will actually have to test it out and figure out how to use it. This is a new device to me, so, um, but, uh, you know, let's go ahead and get the rest of the stuff out of the box and uh, see what else came in the kit. So, got another little Picatinny rail and some little um, adapters here. A neck strap. All right, so this is some kind of a head system to be mounted on your head and uh, so that you can use it at night and not have to hold it with your hands. Um, all right, and then we got a data cable here. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, use this thing for a little bit and come back and I will demonstrate the whole thing for you after I've got a little handle on how to use it and I'll test it out and show you some samples from the testing period so just hold on I'll be right back alright guys so I'm back with the best garter night vision system so uh, I've had this for a few days and I've had a chance to use it nighttime and even in the daytime and just gonna basically share my experience with you and some video clips that I took for you so um, let me go ahead and start off with the video clip that I took with this and the head mount system right here. Um, just for demonstration, just going to show you how this system works. Uh, you basically just, there's two screw holes there and this kind of mounts right here on that and you screw that in and then you hook this to your head. And uh, you can actually slide this forwards and backwards to adjust for your eyes. Now I have an extremely wide head and um, because of the narrowness of the lens here, even at maximum extension, I couldn't actually get a good view of it. So I really wasn't able to use it too well. I did film with it on my head, but because my eyes are a little bit farther apart, um, it was hard to actually see with both eyes. Um, I was getting kind of cut off because I couldn't quite get it far enough away. It needed to be about another two inches farther for me to see a really good, the screen really well on it. Um, but I know that I have a wide head because I can go through a hundred pairs of sunglasses and uh, maybe one of them will fit me right. So I have to have an extra wide pair of, of uh, sunglasses to fit me right. So that, for most people, it would work fine that doesn't have like really wide head. Um, now, uh, Here's a video that I took while using this at night, so let me go ahead and show this to you. All right, so I'm about 20 yards from this wildlife feeder and got the thing mounted on my head. I'm going to show you the zoom. It's got an eight power zoom, but when you get all the way in, it gets pretty grainy. So this is back at normal. Um, you know, it works pretty good. So, but it is kind of jiggly on my head. I'm trying to hold still as possible here. So, just kind of give you a demonstration. Now, I'm going to show you the LED infrared emitter. So, I'm dimming it down. And it has four levels. That's level one. Level two. Level three. And level four so there you go you can see that all right so um, you know it's good video but when this thing's mounted on your head 
Um, it just was really uncomfortable for me. It bounced a lot if I moved. Any slight movement, it's very spongy, uh, and you saw all the vibration there. It works, um, but this thing, when it's out there at the full maximum, and even though, as I said, when I unbox it, it's kind of light, um, it still is very heavy. I had to kind of hold my head up like this to try to get it down because it kept weighing down and trying to tighten up the straps and stuff and the chin strap to try to pull it down. Uh, you know, it only was moderately effective like that. So for me, using the head thing really, uh, as again, it was too, I couldn't get it far enough away to get a full picture of the screen in there. And um, it just really wasn't comfortable and just bounced a lot. So I actually put it on a tripod and took it out and used it on a tripod at night and that worked a lot better. So let me go ahead and show you some footage from that. All right, so I'm back out here at the feeder and this time I've got it mounted on a tripod. You can see how stable it is. And a little zoom demonstration here. Um, I'm about 30 yards from the feeder. So now that it's stable, you can see how clear it is. Um, actually pretty good for a night vision system. Okay, so there you can see that. Um, it can zoom to an 8 power, and at 8 power, obviously, it's very grainy. Um, the picture is pretty distorted. But uh, even up to, say, 4 or 5 power, it's not too bad. Um, so you do can get that magnification there. Um, it did pretty good. Okay, so the infrared emitter on this gives you a maximum of about 50 yards at night. That's about as far as you're going to see. So um, here is a, a deer that's about 60 yards away. Um, and let me just show you this video here while I'm talking. And as you can see, you can see that it's a deer, but it's not real clear. And that's just beyond 50 yards. Uh, so, you know, 50 yards is pretty much its maximum distance. Uh, it doesn't, the kit does not come with a battery. You're going to need to buy this battery, an 18650 battery separate um, to you be able to use the infrared emitter and power the system. So that does not come in the kit. I actually happen to have one, so I was able to use that. Um, <coughs> now there is an additional uh, infrared flashlight accessory that's available to buy with this camera. Um, from Best Garter, and that would give you uh, more range. The brighter your infrared light is going to be, the further you're going to be able to see. Um, the kit itself comes with this infrared emitter, and that's about 50 yards, and in, in that range is pretty good. I didn't have the accessory that wasn't sent to me to show you the further range, so I can only show you what um, I had. So. You know, uh, let's talk about function here. There's two knobs over here. This is the LCD brightness. So you can brighten and dim your LCD. And this inner ring right here is your infrared emitter brightness. So you can uh, increase and dim that. So over here is your function button. Um, you have it in off mode right here. When you turn it on, that turns it on and it goes to video record mode. Then the second click is to picture or image mode and then there is a third one that allows for like a time-lapse recording type thing um, and so that is your controls there uh, this right here is your zoom function this right here this button that says back on it actually switches it from night vision mode to daytime mode so let me go ahead and show you you can actually use this in the daytime and I took some video with it in the daytime so let me show you some of that video Okay, so there you go. That's that's the daytime video, and it did pretty good. 
And All right, guys, so let's sum this up here. I have used several other night vision products that I've done testing on, and of all of those that I did testing on, the, the clarity and definition of this product was superior to those. Um, I wish I would have had some type of infrared emitter that would have given me a further range at night, but in the range that I was able to use it, I felt that it did very good. Um, it was easy to use once you learn all the little buttons and functions. It's not hard to use and it seemed to work pretty good. Uh, the head mount, you know, as I said, wasn't something that I particularly enjoyed using. You might, it depends on how you want to use it. I preferred holding it handheld or using it with a tripod was actually the best way that I found to use it. Um, but it is a night vision de device. It saw pretty good at night. Um, the one final comment is that the infrared emitter is quite bright and visible to the naked eye at night. So um, animals were able to see it um, when I was using it. So um, other than that, guys, I'm just going to say, you know, I enjoy uh, playing around with it and uh, I'm probably going to use it in the future. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little boxing and demonstration. If you found it helpful, please consider hitting the thumbs up under the video to let me know this video helped you out. Until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying, I'll see you later.